Hey, welcome back to Lime of the Month. My name is Jermaine as usual, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a 360 game by the name of Mass Effects. With so many highly anticipated games coming out in 2007, Mass Effect was at the top of my list. Basically, Mass Effect is by the team that brought you KOTOR and also Jade Empire. That team would be Bioware. And Mass Effect is a space odyssey game basically set in the future. And it is an RPG with shooter elements. Now, if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen reviews or different screenshots of the games, you're used to seeing somebody with a gun and you're shooting people. But this game is first and foremost an RPG. I want to make that completely strict and make that be known because a lot of people think you can just run and shoot through the game, which you can, but I think that breaks the game and it's not as fun as you played it if you play it as an RPG. Now let's start off with the bad. There's a lot of things wrong with Mass Effect. I'm not going to go into all of them, but I am going to give you the top three that just irritated me to death. The first being the driving sequences in the game. They're horrible. I mean, there's nothing else you can say about that. They're horrible. Moving on. Number two would be the texture pop-ins. Now a texture pop-in is, let's say, you walk into a newly discovered area and the textures, you can see them taking a while to come in and populate everything in that environment. It's not that bad, but it is annoying and I wish they would have took a little more time to fix that. But whatever, what are you going to do? The third thing, and this, this is going to be a combo, I really hated that the items that you got in your inventory, you couldn't sort them by anything. If you wanted to delete them, you had to delete every item one at a time. You couldn't do a mass delete and delete everything. Also, the auto save in this game, it's horrible. Like, if you're not gonna save every 30 seconds, or even every section that I get to, if you're not gonna save it, then why bother having an auto save? There was a lot of times at the beginning of the game where I died a lot and had to play like an hour of the game over again because the auto save didn't do its job. So that's the bad. It might sound like I'm down in the game and I didn't enjoy it, but that'd be complete opposite of what I think. I thought this game was amazing. It's probably my favorite game of the year. I still need to play through Assassin's Creed, but I enjoyed the story in this game, the dialogue, and the combat immensely. Like. I can't even put into words how much I love this game. Once you get into it, once you get used to the combat, I think it's pretty much spot on. It's You gotta remember, like I said, it's an RPG, so when you put your cursor over somebody, depending on how far away you are, depending on your skill level, um, it actually calculates your chances of hitting that person. So if you put your cursor on somebody and shoot, you're not guaranteed to hit them. Um, it also depends on which class you play in the game, how much fun you're going to have out, of it, have out of it, I think. I played as a Vanguard, which means I had some gun skills and some power skills, like I can lift people in the air and throw them 400 feet away. I thought that was fun. It was intuitive. Um, there's no manual, there's no trial, tutorial level. You just jump to the game and you learn how to play. It took me 26 hours to beat the game, and at the end of those 26 hours, I completed every side quest, every main mission, except for probably four or five go fetch and catch things type side quests. Um, I did have problems with the side quests. They weren't as fun as I thought they were. They should have fleshed them out more. But for the most part, this game is awesome. I do recommend renting this game if you're not an RPG fan, <clears throat> but if you can get past the minor things that I told you that were wrong with the game, go ahead and buy it, but rent for those wary of RPG games. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, hit the site up, comment on YouTube, do what you gotta do, and I'll answer them for you. Until then.